Hello everyone and welcome to our exam week. So in this video, we are going to have the syllabus and study plan for 60 days for SEBI ID. As we know, the notification is about to come and we have very less amount of time to prepare for the SEBI ID preparation. So what uh, we are going to do, we are going to start a series for SEBI ID where we will be starting from the syllabus and the study plans. So uh, I am not going to provide you syllabus explicitly. What you can do, you can just go to the SEBI website and you can download the syllabus from there. What we will be doing here, we will be covering the entire syllabus via our study plan for 60 days. So I have scheduled for like 60 days and you can follow that schedule to uh, like uh, cover up all the topics which are out there and by following this particular schedule you can make sure that all the topics are covered by you and nothing is untouched so let's start uh, with the topics that you're going to cover and in which week you're going to do so so in week one there are seven days as per every week has okay so in week one for all the seven days we have some topics which are scheduled to cover Okay, as you can see for day one, we have ER model, relational model, relational algebra and tuple calculus. So this is only for IT. For QRE part, you have to prepare explicitly. Okay, I'm just going to provide you the details for the IT part. So meanwhile, you can have day one to day seven and every day we'll have some topic against it. And you just have to complete those topic in that particular day. You can see here why from day one to day seven, you will be completing your entire DBMS. Plus you will be having some command over the SQL language uh, as well. Okay, after that uh, thing in week two, we are going to focus on the programming concept art. It is a very uh, important part of uh, the examination major chunk that is the 30 percent of the pre uh, is coming from this topic and almost everything in phase two is coming from these topics so what we are going to do we are going to handle the programming concepts of python c and c plus plus and java by uh, week two okay so week two is uh, dedicated for that thing you can see all the topics these are related to the programming concepts and the graphs uh, which are there in the additional topics with the algorithm part so there are many topics and uh, you can get an idea that majorly we are going to focus in the second week in the programming concept. After that thing in third week, what we are going to do, we are going to cover some basic topics which are not in so deep. So you can see after having two weeks of uh, like intensified topic, we can have some light topics on week three. And in week three, what we are going to do, we are going to have these seven days allocated to some lighter topics related to the cybersecurity, some of the data, warehouse concepts and the shell scripting. After that thing in week four, what we are going to do, we are going to get our pace on the coding. Okay, so coding is very important part as you already know the exam which happened this year, that is 2022 April. What we were having is like there were so less amount of people which actually qualified for the interview only two people made it to the interview round instead of 14 vacancies that are required to fill so still say if they select all that like both the two candidates still they have 12 vacancies which are vacant so what we are going to learn from here is like the phase two plays a very important role and we have to give a major amount of our preparation to the programming okay so you can see here from day one to day seven I have given you number of codes that you need to practice and on which topic you have to practice them. If you will follow these particular concepts in particular day, what you will be doing, you will be finishing off your syllabus plus you will be in a regular manner to code. Okay, so your practice won't be like you are not uh, practicing for um, so long. Uh, as the examination will approach close, what you will be having, you will be having a better command over these particular topics. After that thing in week five, you also have to continue with the codings these are the topics which you have to do then what you have to do in week six you have to go again with the codes then in week seven as well you have to do them then in five six and seventh day of the week seven you have to attempt mocks in between also you have to attempt mocks mocks are going to play an important role in your preparation uh, attempt as many mocks you can and uh, after that thing once uh, week seven is over week eight is followed by covering all the things by revision so you have entire one week for revising the concepts that you have read till now now what we have next is like there are some important pillars and dimensions that we need to take care of and these are like you have to understand the syllabus and the previous year paper questions 
then you have to identify your weak and strong areas. This play a very important role in pre specifically because there is nine subjects which you have to study in pre and there are marks allocated against them. So you have to identify your weak areas and if your weak areas are lying in a major chunk, you have to reduce it. And if your stronghold is there with the strong subjects, then that is very good. So accordingly, you have to plan. Then you have to practice at least five to six words daily for the mains examination. You have to examine the mocks, not just giving the mocks are going to help, but examining them is going to play a very important role. So you have to examine your performance in the mock test. After that, you have to cover the maximum scenarios in your course. Okay, try to cover maximum scenarios in your course so that the test cases will get passed. After that thing, high attention to the data structure. This is very important as it will be a very vital element in your pre and means. Now, there is one uh, thing that I will like to give to all of you is like, you should not have any doubt in any part of the examination or in any phase of the examination. What you need to do, you need to be very clear what the question is asking, what your preparation is, what where you are lying. You have to be crystal clear during entire uh, pace of preparation. So in that case, if you have any doubt, please ask. And for asking your doubts, we are here. You can reach out to iExamby.com in any format either commenting on our uh, SEBI related IT videos or from any format by writing mails to hello at iExamby.com, you can reach out to us. We are just a call away. So don't have any doubt of fear in your head because it gives more opportunities than the fear actually does. Okay, so what you need to do, if you are in doubt, please ask. Stand up and ask. Now our announcement for the SEBI is like we are having the SEBI grade IQ online course and you can enroll into that course to get the video lessons, study notes, practice test, live session and interview guidance. So what we are going to do, we are going to prepare as hard as you can and we are going to push you in this particular phase of preparation. As you are having very less amount of days left over, so I will suggest to have a watch on this particular course, give it a um, call and watch the demo course and uh, just take a call. Okay. Also refer to the previous year questions that are available on our website that is www.examby.com. Okay. We are also running some of the offers while going to our website. You can just check on them. What are the current offers and you can avail them at very low cost. So that was all from my side. I will keep on bringing some conceptual videos in upcoming days. So stay tuned with us. Do subscribe the channel for getting the regular updates and if you like this video please do hit the like button this will act as a motivation for us to bring some more content rich videos in future by the time stay updated and keep practicing